Hey guys, this is Mithun and this video I'll be showing you guys on how to install Android 11 Developer Preview on your Xiaomi Mi A2. For this, you need to make sure that your phone's bootloader is unlocked and have the latest TWRP installed on your phone. Also make sure your phone is decrypted. Once that is all done, let's get the video started. Okay, first we have to download a base Android Q ROM and for this I'll be downloading the AI CP ROM for the Mi A2. Now click on the link and you'll get to it and just download the AI CP ROM for the Mi E2. And once the AI CP ROM is downloaded, you have to click on the next link and that will take you to another file where you have to download the GSI file for the Android 11. This is provided by Irfan, so massive shout out to him. And third and foremost, you need to have Google GMS. For those who don't really know, GMS really allows you to have Google Play services on your phone. And uh, once you click on the third link, you'll, you'll be redirected to this web page and click on the available APKs and make sure you download the one that is linked at the last. Once you click on that, click on download APK and wait for the download to begin. Once everything is downloaded, click on the GSI file and click on extract. Once the file gets extracted, you will find another .img file. That is the file that will be requiring to flash the Android 11 GSI. Okay, once it's extracted, just go into it and copy it and paste it into the main directory. Once you are on the phone, power off your device. Once the device is completely turned off, hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time to get into the recovery mode. And once you are into the TWRP recovery, uh, click on wipe and choose a factory wipe. And once that is done, go back, go to reboot, click on slot. And for this video, I'll be using the slot B as my active slot and slot A as my inactive slot. So I'll be clicking on slot B. And once I've clicked that, uh, I'll just go back again, swipe and go to wipe and swipe for factory reset. Now once everything is done, connect your phone to your laptop through the USB Type-C cable. Once it is connected, now let's get to mount and make sure you have the system and the vendor selected in the mount and as well as cache and data and not the persist. And once that is done, go to reboot and click on reboot recovery. This will update all the stuff that is required for the recovery to update itself. Okay, once you're done, we'll get back to the PC now. Right click on the ROM and click on copy and copy it to your internal memory of your phone. Okay, once you have copied the ROM into your phone, go to install and click on the ROM and swipe to flash. Wait for the flash procedure to complete. Okay, once the ROM is completely flashed, uh, go back, go to reboot, click on slot A and once the slot A is selected, click on reboot recovery. And once the recovery reboots back to the normal one, uh, just click on system and you will be rebooting into Android 10 for now. Once the Android 10 ROM is completely flashed, unplug the device and power off the device. And once the device is powered off, uh, hold the volume up and the power button at the same time to get into the recovery mode. And once you're in the TWRP mode, plug your device back to your laptop. Now we need to copy the GSI file that we had previously extracted. Click on copy and paste it into the device. And once you have copied that into it, wait for it to get copied. And once the GSI file is being transferred into the phone, and once that is done, you have to copy the GMS APK and transport it back to your device. Now once you're back into the phone, click on, click on wipe and click on advanced wipe and click on Dalvik, System, Cache and choose to swipe. And once that is done, click on Mount and make sure all these settings are enabled. And once that is done, go to Install and click on Install Image and choose the GSI file and hit on System Image and swipe to Flash. And once that is done, you have to go back, click on Reboot and as you can see, we are currently on slot A and in slot B, we have the Android 10 ROM. Now we have to click on the system, but as we click on it, we will be notified saying that there is no OS installed on the device. 
just ignore it and just click on swipe to flash once that is done just wait for the first boot and there you go android r is finally installed on xiaomi mi a2 uh, this is a very early build of android 11 so expect a lot of bugs and what not on it i highly suggest you not trying this on your daily driver if you have a daily driver please don't use it because it's an experimental build to have less bug go to files and click on three dot buttons at the top and click on show internal storage once you click on that uh, once you swipe from the left, you will be able to see your device there. And if you click on that, you will be able to uh, choose the GMS APK. Click on that and install it. And to check what the Android version is on this phone, let's go to settings, about phone. And as you can see, we are on Android R. And if you want more videos on the Xiaomi Mi A2 or any other stuff, do let me know in, in the comment section below. And uh, if you do like the videos, please subscribe and uh, do hit the like button i get to know that you like the video so thank you for watching and hope you have a great day bye